Praise the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. A very big shalom to you in the name of our Lord God and Savior King Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in fact, this is one of the first words that Jesus said to his apostles and disciples when he entered that closed room after resurrection in the evening time. The peace that surpasses all understanding is shalom. So today, my dear brothers and sisters, the promised word for this day and for this month, I'd like to take from the word of God from the book of Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. Can we listen to the word of God? I have been crucified with Christ. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live. It is no longer I who lives. But Christ lives in me. But Christ lives in me. And the life which I, which I now live in and the, the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God. I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave Himself for me. Who loved me and gave Himself to me. So it's like proudly I say, it's no longer I, but Christ that lives in me. My dear brothers and sisters. At this very point of time, remember, Christ represented us on the cross. The death for which we were eligible, two types of death, death in the flesh and eternal death, with which we were eligible for, Christ took it away over himself. And then he represented us, died on the cross. He had that human death that had to take place. Okay, on behalf of you and me, he got it done. And then what happened? Redeemed us from that eternal death for which we were eligible and we would be doomed in that particular death. So he represented on the, us on the cross. So it's like whenever you see Christ, you know, you, you see a cross and you see the image of Christ over the cross or you watch that movie where Jesus is hanging on the cross, understand and remember one thing. It was you and I who were supposed to be there hanging on that cross, okay, to be doomed and to die forever. But then he went up to that cross, gave his life up on that cross in order to see that you and I are entitled and eligible for eternal life so that we are saved once and for all. And so now what has happened? So. By doing that what we had to do, by, do by, he, by Christ doing that what he had, what we had to do, it's like made, making it very easy for us now. And it's, it's like the life that he has lived is now being made complete in us and we are called for a different life altogether and we are going to live a different life altogether from now. So there's a reason why it's very clear and easy to say that it's no longer I. The life that I live, it's no longer I, but Christ who lives in me. Because it's finished it, finished it all on the cross. And so what happened? The expectancy level of the heaven and of God the Father is holiness in your life and my life. The more we live in holiness, the more we walk by faith and not by sight. Believe me, we are going to be like Jesus, fully achieving everything that needs to be achieved in our life. And we will be living more than a victorious life in ourselves. Christ became victorious on the cross. So you and I are entitled to be victorious on the cross. Okay? Cross symbolizes the curse in which the curse in which man was living and the curse which Christ took away from mankind. Cross is a symbol of curse. So my dear brothers and sisters Christ nailed himself on the cross to finish it off once and for all. So it's no longer me, but Christ that dwells and lives in me. And so the life that I live now, I live a life in Christ Jesus and that also in faith and by faith. Today, you know, when, when Jesus was healing one of his people, he says, be healed according to your faith. You know, we can get a lot of things done according to our faith. We can move, move mountains, we can get miracles healing, deliverance, all by faith in God through Christ Jesus. Today in this month, make it a point to understand and to realize 
that you have been you and I have been called for a victorious life successful life prosperous life in faith through Christ Jesus yes so today let's take it up very seriously pray to god ask god to bless us and help us to walk by faith not by sight and believe all the time that it's no longer me but christ that dwells in me yes why because christ represented me on the cross can we pray come on father god in heaven i praise and i thank you and i worship and adore you i glorify and exalt your holy name and i thank you for dying for me on the cross thank you for giving your life and giving my life back to me and thanking for helping me go up to a different level of my life experiencing the best in union with you today it's no longer me but you who live in me and today the life that i live i live in faith to be victorious successful and prosperous in your holy and precious name in jesus name we pray amen amen and amen my dear brothers and sisters you have a wonderful day today be blessed and stay blessed shalom shalom shalom